Do we you pour a bowl of Applejack cereal? Your Cinnamon races to you. You again. But there's a bad apple who's trying to get there first. Stay out of my Applejack! Skimmy Here I go. I did it! I'm Sydney Ma. I did no! Applejacks doesn't taste like apples because the taste of sweet cinnamon. Oh yeah. Is the winner man. A cinnamony part of this complete breakfast. Yo! Uh Applejacks, get it? From the years? 2004 to 2013, there was an advertising campaign for the Kellogg's Apple Jack cereal that involved cinnamon, a laid-back Jamaican stick of cinnamon, and bad apple, an angry and uptight apple. The two would compete to get to a bowl of Apple Jacks, and cinnamon's catchphrase on the way to the bowl was, Here I come, I am cinnamon. Now, on to the mystery. On the 11th of March, 2021, a thread was posted to 4chan's X board. It goes as such. What is Kellogg's hiding? The name of the man who did the voice acting for Cinnamon is Hidden Knowledge. You cannot find it anywhere. If you look it up, you'll just get wrong answers like men leaks or gabachu. The closest I've come to finding the answer is the voice actor of the Apple saying, he doesn't remember, his first name was Jeffrey. It certainly is a strange phenomena we've encountered here. Let's look deeper. First taking a glance at Menlik Zergabachu, a singer, a singer who was on the hit show The Voice. Menlik's link to the Cinnamon character can be found in an iSpot TV listing for the final appearance of Cinnamon in the Cinebreak commercial. But overall, this doesn't seem to add up for one simple reason. Menlik is only 19 years old would have been only eight years old at the time of the commercial's airing. Thank you to Twitter users at Blastetic and Turban24 for this information. The one good lead we have comes from the voice actor of Bad Apple, Tim Dabato, who claims that the first name of the voice actor was Jeffrey. One promising lead that I have personally found is a VA by the name of Jeff Fisher, who is best known for lending his voice to Jeff from American Dad. He is old enough to possibly be the voice of Cinnamon, and his Wikipedia article even says that he has done commercials, but I could not find any examples, and it may be a totally erroneous statement. This is only the beginning of the investigation, and I'm sure more leads will turn up. I'll make a follow-up to this video if any larger updates happen.